Okay, we're in section 88.3. These are the exercises, and I'm going to do one problem at a time. So, for example, this section over here, the degree of the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree of the denominator. Our suggestion is to start off with a long division. All right, so if I do a long division on it, um, I want to write down what I mean by that. Um, I'm going to take that divisor, which is x plus 2 times x plus 1, multiply it out, and you get 3x squared. Let's see, you'd get, uh, let's see, plus 5x, and then you get minus 2. I'm dividing it into that, um, uh, the top part, the numerator, that's 9x cubed, and I'll try to be careful, plus 21x squared, plus 22x, minus 17. And you know what times 3x squared would give you 9x cubed would be 3x. What do you get? 9x cubed. And then you're going to get plus 15x squared. And then you get minus 6x. What are you going to do? Subtract. What do you get? 6x squared plus 28x minus 17. Repeat. What times 3x squared gives you 6x squared plus 2? What does that give you? 6x squared. Let's see. 10x. And then you get minus 4. Subtract. 18x. And that's going to be minus 13. All right? So I'm going to write that down now. The quotient we got was 3x plus 2. And the remainder, unfinished business, so to speak, we did not divide 18x minus 13 by x plus 2, 3x minus 1. Now, I just want to talk briefly about the k. I, I do write, you know, the division down the two different formats that students use, and we're seeing the quotient and the remainder over here. And then I want to point over here, we're seeing the quotient and the remainder over here. Whatever way you're comfortable dividing, and I really do mean that, whatever way you're comfortable dividing. Now, someone says the problem done, partially done. We go back to the methods that we learned about in prior section, and although repetitive, let's go through this one. And what do you get over here? Well, let me write this down. Um, I'm getting better at it. From the last section, I'm definitely getting better at this. So what I'm going to write down is, you know, I, I know it breaks into two separate fractions. Let me write this down for you. And again, I'm just writing down what some students don't need to write down anymore. And if you don't need to write down, please do not write it down. What's the point of writing things down now is to communicate with others what's going on in their mind. Multiply both sides by the LCD. And what do you get? A times 3x minus 1 plus B times x plus 2. And I'm sure you're sick and tired of hearing me say this. Pick an easy number, like x equals minus 2. This is going to give me, let's see, that's going to give me uh, minus 36, minus 49, minus 49. And the reason we pick a minus 2 is so uh, one of the terms disappeared, and I clearly see that. And what are you going to get? Minus 7a. So that means a is going to be 7. So I'm going to get my eraser out and write that down. I got the 7. Now, someone says, how you can get the b? There are many ways to get it, by the way. But I'm going to do something that I certainly did in the past. I'll say x equals 0. And what do you get? By the way, we're using this equation again to do this. You're going to get minus 13. Well, let's see. Then you're going to get minus a, right? If, uh, if x is 0. And what's, what's a? Well, it's 7, so it's minus 7. Again, if x is 0, I get minus a. If a is 7, that's minus 7. And then what do you get? You're going to get 2b. Well, I think I can do this. And what are you going to get? Minus 6 equals 2b, or b is equal to minus 3. Well, I'm going to go up here and erase that. And then write that down for you. Minus 3. Now, the, the goal here is to write the answer down now. What's the answer going to be? 3x plus 2 plus, remember, I just did this part. I know what it is now. 7 over x plus 2 minus 3 over 3x minus 1. Got my answer over here. Now, what I want to do is I want to see if I got it right. All right? So I'm going to get my red pen out. Did I get 3x plus 2? I did. Did I get plus 7 over x plus 2? I did. 
Did I get minus 3 over 3x minus 1? I did. And we're good to go. All right. I know I say this periodically. I want to continue to do that. My name is Ron Bannon. If you need to reach out to me, my email address is Bannon. That's B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. Thank you for paying attention.